And I'm proud to introduce the 17th president of the University of Notre Dame, Father John Jenkins. Father Jenkins, welcome to Notre Dame Day 2021. Real pleasure to be with you, Vahid, and with Chloe, and with all our Notre Dame family for this wonderful event. Well, Notre Dame Day has been, or Notre Dame, I should say, has been in the news for its response to COVID-19. Can you provide, if you could, a brief reflection of the university's decision to bring students back for in-person education and provide an update on where we find ourselves with five weeks to go in the spring semester? Well, thanks, Fahid. Yes, I remember one year ago, I was, uh, we were all thinking about the coming year in late April. The pandemic had just hit and uh, was spreading and we're just trying to decide what to do. I think in difficult decisions, significant decisions, always go back to your mission. The mission of Notre Dame is education and inquiry. But as a Catholic university, as Notre Dame, we put a high premium on presence, on community, on people being here, on the residence halls, on student life, on, on being here at this place with one another. And so at that time, we decided we were going to do everything possible to bring our students back. And I can't tell you how hard our staff, our committed staff, worked to make that possible over last summer. Uh, just a, a tremendous effort. No one knows how to deal with the pandemic. We had no uh, practice for this. None of us did. And uh, so it, it was, there were ups and downs. It was difficult. It was trying. I can't tell you how proud I am of our staff and faculty. I can't tell you how proud I am of our students to get through this year. All our students were here. Uh, there were in-person instruction. Over 85% of our classes were in person, not online. Uh, I'm tremendously proud of that. And just this past week, we uh, were very fortunate to have uh, the Indiana Department of State of Health and our governor, Governor Holcomb, send up enough vaccines for our campus. 90%, over 90% of our students uh, received a shot. Uh, our faculty and staff were offered a shot. And I, I just uh, feel we're in a, we're in a tremendous place. Uh, with, with those vaccinations to continue the work of Notre Dame. And uh, I just feel a great sense of satisfaction having gotten through this difficult year with all our students here on campus and with instruction in person. Absolutely. As some may have seen, Father Jenkins, the university is committed to an in-person commencement for the class of 2021. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yes, uh, you know, a graduation commencement is sort of the culmination of your time here, and we wanted, uh, we wanted to do everything possible to to bring our graduates of twenty one uh, here, and we're going to do that. We're going to have it in the stadium. Uh, we have to restrict tickets a bit. Our health authorities tell us that crowds can't be too long. We'll do that, and uh, we'll have a wonderful commencement here and celebrate the the heroic class of 21 who came through. And I want to say we missed the class of 2020, but we're going to gather them on campus to celebrate them as well. Uh, these great students who got through such a trying time, uh, they, they deserve the highest degree of celebration for what they've accomplished. Well, the focus of Notre Dame Day and the focus of the university is, of course, the students. Why is Notre Dame Day such a big event? Well, it's, it's just a chance for all of us to, to celebrate, both those on campus and those, the Notre Dame family around the world to celebrate Notre Dame and all of Sandsboro. But it, it allows our students and uh, many clubs and organizations and their wonderful activities, it allows them to put themselves forward and talk about what they do and get people interested in what they do. And also to talk about the extraordinary people uh, that we have here now at Notre Dame and who have graduated from this institution. It's, uh, it's, a great, it's really a celebration of, of this great institution that, uh, that uh, brings out uh, so many wonderful people and, and we have so much to celebrate. Well, before we wrap up our conversation, Father Jenkins, would you be able to share with the audience and all who are watching a brief blessing with us? I'd be happy to do that. I think at this time, above all, we need God's blessing and God's guidance in this, this difficult time, this time of the pandemic. So I'll, I'm, I just want everyone to know, the whole Notre Dame family to know you are in my prayers and you remain in my prayers. I'm going to ask God's blessing on you at this time. Let us pray. In this trying time of the pandemic, I'd got, ask God's special blessing on every member of the Notre Dame family and all who are dear to them. We remember in a special way those who have passed, 
who have died this year, either from COVID or other causes. We remember them and ask God to welcome them into his eternal rest. And we pray for all those who have lost loved ones. Let us pray that we come through this uh, pandemic soon and that we all can gather here on this campus in person as we have done so many times in the past and celebrate all that we have gone through this year together in support of one another. And asking the intercession of Our Lady Notre Dame, I ask God's blessing on you. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Father Jenkins, thank you so much for that blessing and thank you for your guidance and leadership. We appreciate it. Thank you, Vahid, and thanks to the whole Notre Dame family for uh, being such a great support and, and staying together in these trying times. All right. Thank you, Father John.